Hi guys, Hyperlado here, the Norwegian Gamer, and I welcome you to the fifth episode of Whirl, Weapons in Real Life. In this series, I talk about the real-life counterparts to some of the guns I've been using in games I'm playing. In this episode, I'm going to cover the famous Heckler & Koch G3. First off, let's get them stats up here. The statistics I've got here are based on the G3A3, the most common of the G3s. So the G3A3 weighs 4.1 kilos or 9.04 pounds and is 1025 millimeters or 40.4 inches long. The length of the barrel is 450 millimeters or 17.7 inches. The rifle can fire in full auto, single shots and an optional 3 round burst mode. The G3 is a roller delayed blowback operated and fires 7.62 by 51 mm NATO rounds. The rifle is compatible with 20 round box magazines and 50 round drum magazines and fires at a rate of 5 to 600 rounds per minute. The G3A3 has a muscle velocity of 800 meters per second. The G3 is probably one of the most used guns in the world, and like the AK-47, it has been around since the first years after World War II. The G3 started out as a creation of the Spanish weapons manufacturer Setme, under the name of CETME Modelo A. The rifle was first picked up by the West German Army as a move to the new 7.62x51mm NATO caliber. They first looked at the FNFAL, but Belgium weren't willing to license out manufacturing to West Germany and the deal fell through. The Modelo A was licensed for manufacturing in West Germany by the young weapons manufacturer Heckler & Koch. The gun was then adopted by the West German army as G3. But the gun wasn't going to stay in Germany. It soon became adopted by other countries and today it's used by as many as 40 different countries. The G3 has even lasted the test of time and was in production for almost 40 years. The G3 first disappeared from Heckler & Koch's listings around 2000-2001. The G3, however, lives on in other weapons based on the fundamental design of the rifle. A fair portion of H&K's library of weapons consists of weapons which are based on the base design of the G3. These weapons include, but are not limited to, the PSG-1 sniper rifle, the HK-21 light machine gun, and the HK-91 semi-automatic rifle, and the MP5 submachine gun. That means that even though the G3 haven't been manufactured for over 10 years, the ingenious design still lives on. One of the reasons for the G3's impressive popularity is that the rifle is exceptionally cheap in production compared to its two main counterparts, the Belgian FAL, manufactured by Fabrique Nationale, commonly known as FN, and US M14, manufactured by various American weapons manufacturers. Through its life cycle, the G3 went through several revisions, and even though there are five generations, they can be sorted into two general categories. The G3A1s and G3A2s, and the G3A3s and the G3A4s with the G3A3 being the most known of these. The G3A3 saw the introduction of the plastic buttstock and the plastic handguard. The handguard comes in two versions, a narrow and a wide version, the latter allowing the mounting of a bipod. The only addition to the G3A4 is a new iron sight, a collapsible stock and the ability to mount a telescopic scope. The G3 has also enjoyed a wide variety of derived weapons and specialized models for different uses and conditions. In addition to those derivatives mentioned earlier, Heckler & Koch has licensed production of the G3 to a number of countries and weapons manufacturers. To name a few of these, the Danish G3A5, 
the Iranian G3A6, the Turkish G3A7, the Swedish AK4, and the Luxembourgian HSG1. All G3A3 produced in the respective countries. There are also the Norwegian AG3 and its derivatives based on the G3A5 and the Iranian DIO G3 bullpup. All in all, the G3 can be found in approximately 40 different versions, derivations and variations. Well, that's it for the Heckler & Koch G3, one of the most successful weapons of modern age. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of World. Hope to see you next time. Snackis. Oh, ho, 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 ho.